All right, welcome back to The Feud. We're back. The cool kids are our champions. They didn't win the fast money the last time around. They picked up 615 rupees, and now they're going to go after a new team. It is the money-making game team. We're calling them the money game team. The Wild Abra, Majir86, Luke the Spoon. Here we go. It's time to play The Feud. It's the spoo. There's He's no been answer. saying Look that. Look the spoo, yes. Look the spoo, yes. I, it sounds like a spoon. Okay. You just, you're paranoid, man. Okay. You hear it all the time. Here we go. You can't stop. I am. I am. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, for this first survey, I need TV for good, and I need a wild Abra here. This is how it's going to work. We played it before. This is the bullseye round. Each of you are going to have five questions to build up your bank with as much money as possible. We're going to start each team with 5,000 rupees in the bank. And in the bullseye round, what we're looking for is number one answer. So this is the 1,000 rupee question, and here it is. Name something you eat that makes you thirsty. Remember to type in the word buzz when you think you've got the answer. I see that you buzzed in, but... All right, TV for good buzzed in. What's the answer? Uh, popcorn. Popcorn. Okay, TV for good says popcorn. Is that the 1,000 rupee answer? Bullseye! 1,000 rupees added to the bank of the cool kids. Let's go with the 2,000 rupee question. Airing on and Gojira86, here is your question. Name a bad habit that usually makes a person a bad roommate. Airing on. He's an alcoholic. All right, drinking. Okay, airing on. Is drinking alcohol the 2,000 rupee answer? No, it is not. Gajira, you have a chance to get the 2,000 yourself. Name a bad habit that usually makes a person a bad roommate. A messy roommate. Being messy, all right. All right. Is being messy the 2,000 rupee bullseye answer? Bullseye! 2,000 rupees to the money game team. They've got 7,000 in the bank. All right, we go back to TV for good, and Luke the Spoo is now going to be in this face-off. This is the 3,000 rupee bullseye question. Here it is. Name a place where kids must be reminded to mind their manners. TV. Let's go with the grocery store. Grocery store, all right. Okay, is grocery store the bullseye answer? No, it is not the bullseye answer. That means Luke the Spoo, you have a chance here. For 3,000 rupees, name a place where kids must be reminded to mind their manners. The dinner table. Dinner table. Ooh, that's a good answer. Okay, Luke the Spoo says dinner table. Is that the bullseye answer? No, it's not. So we're going to find out what the next question is. And I need airing on and I need... A wild Abra here for this question. Airing on and a wild Abra. Here is the 4,000 rupee bullseye question. Name something you pack only one of for a long trip. Airing on. A toothbrush. Toothbrush. All right, show me a toothbrush. Bullseye! 4,000 rupees added to your bank. You now have 10,000 rupees. And now this last bullseye question is for 5,000 rupees. I need TV for good and Gojira. 
Here is the 5,000 rupee bullseye question. Name something specific you might hide. TV. Something specific. You would hide. Um, naked grandmother. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How did you just You're supposed to buzz in after you think of the answer, okay. TB. Come on. TB, I need an answer. <laughs> That's my answer, naked grandmother. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> Highlight this, please. <laughs> All right. Show me what he said. No, that is not it. Okay. Gajira for 5,000 rupees. <laughs> Name something specific you might hide. Magazine? Magazine. <laughs> All right. Let's see if magazine is the bullseye answer. For 5,000 rupees, is magazine the bullseye answer? No, it is not. We'll never know what it is. <laughs> My sister says naked grandma. That means the cool kids, are, you will play for 10,000 rupees. And money game team, you will play for 7,000 rupees. So, DC Gamer, airing on, and Luke the Spoo, it's time to play The Feud! All right. Hey, baby. Good luck to the both of you. Here we go. We asked 100 people this question. The top nine answers are on the board. Name a good gift for the outdoors type. Airing on. Uh, fishing rod. Fishing rod. All right. Let's see. Fishing rod. Number one answer. Okay, airing on. Would you like to play or pass? I think we're going to play, right, TB? All right. Yes, sir. All right, All right. they're going to play. So, money game, think of a steal. TB, name a good gift for the outdoors type. What was... Okay. Um, A rifle. Rifle. Good answer. Let's see. Rifle. No! Wow. Are you kidding? No, not there. Strike one. Okay, um, airing on. Name a good gift for the outdoors type. A jacket. Jacket, okay. Let's see. Jacket! No! Strike two. Money game, think of a steal. TV for good. There's still eight answers left on the board. Name a good gift for the outdoors type. Um, tent. Tent. All right. If it's there, you're still alive. If not, money game gets a chance to steal. Show me tent. Yes, number two. 19 people said it. There's 39 points in the bank. Well done, TV. Airing on. Go back to you. Name a good gift for the outdoors type. Airing on. A sleeping bag sleeping. to go with that tent? Sleeping bag. Sure. All right. That's a good answer. All right. To stay alive, show me a sleeping bag. You got it. Number five. Eight people said it. 47 points in the bank. TB, it's your turn. A good gift for the outdoors type. Um, like, like a hunting knife? Like some kind of knife? Okay. Pocket knife? Okay. All right, let's see a hunting knife. Yes, number eight. Three people said it. Good. Good. Oh, cool. 50 points in the bank, and we go back to you, Airing On. You're doing great. Five answers left. Name a good gift for the outdoors type. 
Uh, a nice pair of boots, I guess. Boots. All right. Let's see some boots. Yeah, number six. All right, you guys are on a roll. Only four answers left to go. We go back to you, TB. A good gift for the outdoors type. Um, a uh, backpack. Backpack. I, I saw hiking backpack. stick and thought, if he's going hiking, he needs a backpack. All right, backpack. I think that's a good answer. Let's see if it's up there. Show me backpack. Yes, number three. All right. 64 points in the bank. And Aragon, it's your turn. A good gift for the outdoors type. Hmm. Um... What do you think? I need an answer, Aringon. I don't know, man. I know you got to type it out. I'm trying to think. I can't do it. Don't you don't, um, have, you don't have an answer? No, I don't have an answer. Right. I don't think. Right. I can't think of anything. All right. Brian. Sorry about that. Uh, That's strike it's not going to happen. All right, Money Games, you guys have a chance to steal. There's three answers unrevealed. If you give me one of them, you get the points in the bank plus the value of the answer. Money Game, Wild Abra, Gojira, and Luke the Spoo, name a good gift for the outdoors type. Um, can we all just, can any of us go? Yep, you guys can confer with each other. Or you can uh, uh, discuss it between each other. Oh. Uh, uh, something to make I, fire? I was thinking a water bottle. Yeah, that would be good. I was too. thinking a map. And that might be good too. Or a compass. A portable radio, something like that. I think we should just go with the water bottle. Okay, Wild Abra. Totally answer. Backpack, yeah. All right. Okay, Wild Abra, I'm going to call for your answer. Name a good gift uh, for the outdoors type. I will go with the majority vote on water bottle. Water bottle, all right. If it's there, you get the bank. But if not, we give it to the other team, the cool kids. Water bottle! No, it's not there. So the cool kids get to keep the point, 64 points. What was number four? Clothing. Oh, what the hell? Wow. What? That's you said you kid, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's kind of ambiguous. True. Number seven. Golf clubs. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> and number nine. A lantern. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right, so 64 points for the cool away. kids. Money game, not on the board yet, but that's all right. We're going to go for the next face-off. I need TV for good and a wild Abra. It's time for the next face off. All right, the point values are now doubled. We have the top five answers on the board. Name something you see at a seance. Abra. I'm going to go candles. Candles. All right. Abra says candles. Number two. Okay, TB, one answer can beat it. Name something you find at a seance. Um, a Ouija board. A Ouija board. O U I G A, yes, I, or J A. J A. G A. I spelled it right on the screen. I said it wrong. O U I J A board. All right. Show me a Ouija board. No, it's not there. Money game. You have control. Player pass. Uh, do you guys want to play? Yeah, I think. All right, we'll good. play. All right, they're gonna play. So, cool kids, think of a steal. All right, we go to you, Gajira. Name something you'd see at a seance. A crystal ball. Ooh, that's, that's a good answer. All right. Gojira says crystal ball. Number one answer. 
43 people said it. There's 128 points in the bank. Luke the Spoo, it's your turn. Name something you'd see at a seance. I'm going to go with incense. Incense. Ooh, good answer. Incense and peppermints. Oh, wait, that's a song. <laughs> All right. Luke says incense. Is it there? No, it's not. Strike one. That was a good answer, though. Wild Ever, we go back to you. Name something you'd see at a seance. I might be a bit biased, but I'm going to say a psychic. Psychic? Ooh. Yeah, you'd have to have a psychic in order to perform a seance. Not just anybody can do a seance, I would think. Let's see if you're right. 100 people survey. Did anybody say psychic? No. Strike two. All right. The cool kids think of a steal. Kajira, we go to you. Name something you'd see at a seance. Tarot cards? Tarot cards. All right. All right, if tarot cards are there, Gajira, you're still alive in this question. If not, we go to the cool kids for the steal. Show me tarot cards. No, not there. Strike three. Cool kids. TB for good. Airing on. I think we've come to an agreement. <laughs> yeah, we've been All, right. All right, excellent. Name something you see at a seance. TB for good. What's your answer? A table. A table. Something as simple as a table. All right. If it's there, you get the points and you take a big lead in this match. But if not, we're going to give the points to the money game team. Please be there. Show me a table. Yes, it's there. Number three. Yeah. All, right. All right. So you get 152 Tables. points. There were two answers. We did not know what was number four. A medium. Oh, that makes sense. I've, I've heard of that. Yeah. And number five, holding hands. Oh. Never get wrecked. <laughs> um, I went for psychic because psychic type, but I guess it doesn't count. Oh. I know, right? Yep. All right. Well, silly text-based entry. Cool kids, you have 216 points. You're in the lead. Money game, you have not scored yet, but there's still time. So we go to the next face-off. Airing on. Gajira, I need you guys. All right, point values are triple. The top four answers are on the board. Name something that sinks a ship. Gajira. Torpedo. Torpedo. All right. Gajira says torpedo. Number one answer. 56 people said it. 168 points. Money game. Do you want to play or pass? I think we should play. 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 All right. Luke. Name something that sinks a ship. An iceberg. Iceberg. Well, yes. Sunk the most famous ship of them all in the Titanic. So I think that's a great answer. Let's see if it's there. An iceberg. Oh, yes. Number two. 255 points in the bank. All right. Wild Abra, we go to you. Name something that sinks a ship. Uh, Abra's taking a call right now. He oh, put it actually, in the chat. Actually, uh, did? No, I, I just got back. Just got back? Okay, very good. A Wild Abra, uh, Torpedo, and Iceberg are the answers on the board so far. We're looking for something that sinks a ship. Uh, instead of going with loose lips, I'm going to go with a cannonball. Ooh, a cannonball. All right, let's find out. Show me a cannonball. No, not there. Ooh, that was a good answer. Strike one. Gajira, back to you. Name something that sinks a ship. Collision with another? All right. We'll see if it's there. All right, Kajir says collision with another ship. Is it there? No, strike two. Think of a steal, cool kids. You can win the game. 
All right, Luke the Spoo, it's all up to you to keep your team alive. Name something that sinks a ship. All right. A sea monster. A sea monster. All right, if it's there, you're still alive. If not, the cool kids will have a chance to steal and win the game. Show me a sea monster. No, it's not there. Okay, TV for good. Airing on, if you can give me one of the two remaining answers, you will play fast money. Something that sinks a ship. Um. <laughs> Aringan, I think that's that's too um too, that's too wide. wide. Too yeah. wide. Too wide. Well, like that's too broad. Like no, that what that's so specific. That's what I meant. Um, oh, okay. Like, well, like a rock in the ocean. Broad. Broad. Okay. Like, like a rock in the okay. ocean or something. Okay. TB, I'm gonna call for your answer. Something that sinks a ship. You get this right. You play fast money. What do you think? Just do it, man. Just go for it. Rocks. Rock? A rock. Okay. If rock is there, you'll have shut out the money game team. But if it's not there, we go to a final face-off. For the game, show me rock. No, it's not there. The points go to the money game team. Nope. All right. Yeah! These were the answers that would have won you the game. The number three answer was a hole, which, okay. which makes total sense okay. to me. And the fourth answer Ooh, was tricky. It was coral. Coral. Oh, boy. Okay. All There's not right. a lot of twist right, delay today, it seems. It's kind of nice to say. Okay, cool kids. 216 points. Money game has 255 points. We go to a final face-off. So it's going to be TV for good and Luke. Oh, baby. Point values are still triple. The top four answers are on the board. Airing on and Luke the Spoo, the question is, name something people put on breakfast cereal. Wait. TB or me? Airing on and Luke. It changed Luke. the people. <laughs> I thought you said TB first. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You said TB. I did. I did. I got say confused. I did too. Because... Okay. All right, Luke, you got in. Name okay. something people put on breakfast cereal. Sugar. Sugar. All right. Luke says sugar. Number two. 32 people said it. One answer can beat it. Uh, TB, is, is it's your, it is your turn because it's the ninth question. TB for good, something for good. people put on breakfast cereal. Milk. Milk. Does a body good, and it certainly does a cereal good. I would hate to have cereal with not, no milk. How about milk? Number one answer. All right. TB, do you want to play or pass? Oh, play. All right. Good luck. Two answers away from winning. Whoever gets this question goes on to fast money. Airing on, it's your turn. Name something people put on breakfast cereal. I guess I'll go with cinnamon. Cinnamon. Sure. Okay. All right. Airing on says cinnamon. Strike one. I'm sorry. It's not there. TV for good. Something people put on breakfast cereal. Um, bananas. Bananas, all right. Something people put on breakfast cereal. TB says, a banana. Yes, bananas are number three. 282 points in the bank, okay. Airing on, if you can give me the number four answer, you're going to play fast money. Something people put on breakfast cereal. I guess I'll have to go with strawberries then. Ooh, strawberries. The logical companion I tell you, to that. I tell you, that is a really good answer. And if strawberries is up there airing on, you will be playing fast money. If not, it's your second strike. For the game, show me strawberries. You've won the game! Woo! Go TB. Saving oh, yeah. us. Really if you hadn't guessed banana, I would have been done.
Yeah, it, like, those are, like, the only four things I've ever put on cereal in my life. Alright, money-making game, I am terribly sorry cereal. they got you in the end. You fought well, but the, the cool kids were just too tough. Did you guys have fun playing the feud? Yep. Yes. All right, great to have you here on Game Show Night and the Family Feud. Maybe we'll see you guys later on. All right, cool kids, you have won the game. You're going to be playing fast money for the money that's in your bank. So, TV and Arion, who's going to go first? We'll switch it up, Arion, and you go first. Arion's going to go first, okay. all right. Sure. Okay, as a reminder, this is how it works, Arion. Five questions, and you're going to have one minute and 40 seconds to give me all the answers. If you can't think of an answer, say pass. We'll come back to it if there's time. If you and TV come up with 200 or more points, you will win the fast money jackpot. Here we go. Pairing on, name a place where meals are served on trays. A school. Good answer. Name a compartment in a refrigerator. The ice box. Ooh. Name a musical instrument made out of wood. A violin. Ooh, that's a good answer. Name another word for highway. Freeway. All right. And the last question. Name a color of M&M's candy. Yellow. Yellow. All right. Those are some good answers. Let's see how you did, Erring On. All right, here's the first question. Survey says? Name a place where meals are served on trays. You said school. Our survey said? Zero. Are you kidding? Really? What? What? Uh, I don't believe it either. That's the hell. Wow. Huh. All right. All right. All right. Name. And, and I that, demand a retrial. I, I demand another survey. I do too. All right. Name a compartment in a refrigerator. You said the ice box. Survey said four. Next question. Survey says an instrument made out of wood. You said violin. Survey said twenty-seven. Survey says. Next question. Name another word for a highway. You said freeway. And the survey said? Number one, number answer. one answer. 46 people said it. And the last question. Name a color of M&Ms. You said survey yellow. Says. 17 people said it. So you've got 94 points. Not bad, Erring On. Let's see if TV for good can get the other 106. Okay, TV for good, it is your turn. I'm going to give you the same five questions as airing on. You need 106 points to win the fast money jackpot. You have two minutes to give me all the answers. Ready? Okay. Okay, TV, good luck. Here we go. Name a place where meals are served on trays. Uh, a cafeteria. Okay. Maybe that's what they were looking for instead of just schools. Boy, how stingy can you get? We'll find out. Cafeteria. Name a compartment in a refrigerator. Um, freezer. Freezer. Name a musical instrument made out of wood. Guitar. All right. That's a good answer. Name another word for highway. Um, freeway. Try again. Uh, r road. Okay. Name a color of M&M's candy. Red. All right, good answers. Let's find out how you did, TB. First question was... Name a place where meals are served on trays. You said cafeteria. Survey said 44. Good answer. 
We are at 138. Here's the next question. Name a compartment of a refrigerator. You said freezer. Survey said zero. I think they were. I think they were looking. I think they were looking for maybe like the meat compartment, the crisper drawer, the crisper drawer, things like Wait, that. Of a refrigerator? That's what I said. A refrigerator. Those don't really have those. <laughs> well, a, that's what a walk-in freezer does. Right. But okay. well, a refrigerator, not really. We'll see if you do it with the other answers. Next question. I think this is a good answer. Name an instrument made out of wood. You said Survey guitar. Number one, answer. number one answer. Thirty-five people. Nice. Come on, TB. All right. Pull it home for us. You're 27 points away from the fast money jackpot. Name another word for a highway. You said road. You need 27 points. Survey said 23. Woo! You are four points away from the fast money jackpot. I think we got it in the bag, TB. All right. Good luck. Here we go. Here's the question. Name a color of M&M's. You said red. If four people said it, you've got the fast money jackpot. What did our survey say? You got the cash. Red was the number one answer. 39. I went with yellow because I knew you'd go with red. So I was also going to choose blue. But cool kids, congratulations. Time, you won 10,000 rupees. 10,000 whole 10,000. Oh, man. I could buy a piece of armor with that or something. <laughs> I your, could buy bombs. Your, your grand yeah, total bombs. In, Let's buy some bombs. All right. In your two matches, you won a total of 10,615 rupees. Well done, guys. All right. Woo. Awesome. Congratulations. That is all the time we have for Family Feud. Coming up next is the game show that you've all been waiting for. It's the whammy game. Press your luck. We'll see you the next time. Until then, for the feud, I'm LG Cards Fan. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, everybody.